Hello everybody, this is Ms. Baker, and this is going to be a short introductory video to Canva.com. So, if you will navigate to Canva.com on your browser, you will see that there are places to sign up and log in. And what you're going to do, if you have not already set yourself up in Canva, is you're going to sign up with Google. So, you'll click that. Then you'll choose your account if it's there. And then it'll take you in. Now, when you get here, you may have to enter your password, and that's fine if you do. You may actually have to type your entire student username in there, and that's fine too. But once you're in there, then you'll be, it'll remember you for next time. So, when you get to your opening page, all kinds of things here. But what you want to do is you want to click create a design right here. Click. Now, you get several choices. What I use this program for is to make all of my signs. Any kind of sign I need to make in the library, for Facebook, for the web page, any kind of little sign or poster or something like that, that's what I use this for. So I usually make posters. Now, I have not been able to figure out how to turn a poster. Landscape, they're always portraits. So if I want something that's going to be landscape, I use the postcard template. But today what we're going to do is we're going to look at the poster template. So you click poster and you get a blank poster. It may be hard to see on your screen, but there's my white sheet of paper. Now. The thing about Canva is that it is free, but it has parts that you might have to pay for. So when you're putting things on your poster, you need to be very careful about that. The first thing you have, though, when it comes up is templates. And it has all of these posters that are already made that you can use and you could change and um, make apply to what you want to do. So, for instance, here's an In Our Classroom poster. You could click that. And there it is. And if that's all you wanted, then you could download it and save it. It would be yours. Okay. Now, as you're looking at these templates, notice that the word free comes up when you hover over it. Free. Sometimes nothing will go there. That means that there's probably a charge if you use something that doesn't say free. There may be a crown down here. That means it's for pro, again, something that costs. But anything that says free, you can use. Okay? And that's really good for things that are already done if you have something that you know you want to do a concert poster or you want to do a birthday poster or something for someone. Different things there. What I do most of the time is I start with a blank canvas. So, I am going to go back a couple of times, get my blank canvas back, and I'm going to go straight to photos. So, what I've been doing recently is making pictures about email and posters about email, posters about accounts and things. But since I'm going to be doing a Canva um, link on the web page, then I'm going to try to make a poster about Canva. So, I'm actually going to talk this in to see if anything comes up. Nope, it thinks that I'm saying canvas, so this is what you get. And actually, some of these might work. Now, you'll see what I was talking about when I was talking about the dollar sign. I can't use that because I'm not going to pay for it. Anything that has a dollar sign, I'm avoiding. So I'm going to go back up and then back down. And you could spend hours and hours doing this, but I'm going to just pick something really. See, there's the crown. That's a pros. And I'm going to pick this just because. Now you'll see it doesn't fit on there because this is a landscape and my piece of paper is portrait. But what you can do is you can stretch it till it fills the white piece of paper. And I want that splash of color there. So there's my backdrop. Now the thing that I like about Canva is that when you want to go put text in, you don't have to just put 
a heading and then a subheading and arrange it yourself. They've already got some combinations going for you. And it's important to look at these and we'll talk about the combination of fonts. So, looking at, let's look at this one. You know, you have a cursive font and then you have a nice blocky kind of stiff font. See the combinations with curves and then straight lines. Just remember that because it always is a good thing to change those kinds of things. To have a block font and then something that is a little curvier or a little more graphic. Okay, see, this is one of my favorite combinations right here. This big font with this small all caps font. But you'll see what I'm talking about, curvy, then a plain font. I see this is a plain font, but then they went with a smaller plain font. You just have to look at how they combine things, okay? If you have something that's really special or curvy, then you need something that's sort of plain as a combination. So I am going to go back up and pick, this is the one that I've been using mostly, and I'm going to pick it. Now, I'm going to resize it. The good thing also about Canva is that you can't, mess up the sizing by picking the wrong spot like you can in other programs. Now, I'm going to highlight all this. I'm going to put Canva for beginners. Alright, so that's just not going to fit. The poor little S. So I'm going to change the size. So I highlight this and you see it's 277, so that's a little crazy. That's really big. So we're going to bring it down. 144 is going to be too small. 277 to 144. So we can actually type in this box. So we're going to change it from 277, which is what it was. We're going to change it to 207. That's just a random number. Just picked it up to make it smaller. Okay. Canva for beginners. And I'm moving it around just to see where I like it the best. And then right here, I'm going to put video one. Okay. So there it is. Now, I lose my four and I lose my RS a little bit with the white on the yellow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click just in the background. And this is your transparency button. So I'm going to change the background and see that just makes it look like it's going to disappear even more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see about changing the color of my font. So I'm going to select all of it, go here, and I'm going to choose not blue because the background's blue. I wonder what that will look like. Oops. There we go. Nope, I don't like that either. Let's change, try a different color. Let's try gray. No, that looks terrible. I think that'll do. Canva for beginners, video one. We'll take it. So, you have all kinds of options over here, but what we're going to do is download. So, we're going to click download. Now, it's important right here if you're going to use this on Facebook or any place like that, or you just want to save it as a picture, then you need to change this. PDF is an Adobe. PDF, it's a file. It's not something that you can insert into a document or put into another project. So you need to change this to JPEG. And you're going to download it.
and I'm going to create a new folder that says downloads and I'm going to it automatically names it what you typed in it I'm going to click save it's saving it and then when I click it to open it And my computer's not going to open it because my computer is tired. Because there's not enough memory to open it. So, there it is in the folder. I'm going to click it again. Nope, it's not going to open it. But there it is, saved. And now I can use it to put on the web page so that my kids can see it. And you kids that are watching it. Now I have just an introductory video to what Canva is. Talk to you in the second video.